Hi, this is Mayor David Genshaw, and we thought it was important at this time to do a public safety update. So I've asked both our chiefs from the police department and our fire company to come and share with our community some thoughts. Chief. Hello, thank you. Uh, the Seaver Volunteer Fire Department currently is, uh, has not seen an increase of COVID-19 calls. We are running a lot of EMS calls with the flu type symptoms. Some things that we want to make sure that the uh, community is aware of, that the fire department is going to show up no matter what and still provide life safety measures. Uh, we will look a little different at this time. So there is uh, some guidelines that we have to follow. One of them is, is that we won't make any entry into any home or anybody's space with a six to 10 feet until we observe the patient or observe a victim or observe any citizen until we get a clearance of certain questions that our emergency medical technicians will ask. Once they feel, uh, clear on the answers, they will either don appropriate uh, personal protective equipment or they will move forward with their routine observation and treatment and also uh, they will transport to the appropriate medical facility. The fire department is still at this time continuing to uh, operate under fire responses, our normal routine. Uh, if the situation or the um, pandemic starts to to uh, start to tax us, we will move forward and uh, start to adjust some of our response patterns at this time. At this time, we're still operating all normal. Chief. Hello. Uh, first, I wanted to take just a minute to thank the community for the response that they've given uh, in regards to the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you for following the governor's orders. Uh, please continue to follow those orders to not congregate in groups of 50 or more on a public place. It's actually recommended to groups of less than 10. Um, that will go uh, towards helping our mission and keeping people safe. The police department will continue our public service mission for uh, safety and security. The uh, only thing that's changed is the way that we will be responding as well. So we may be trying to handle more complaints through teleservice. We may ask you to step outside of your house to have a conversation with us from that safe distance of six to 10 feet if we have a need to go to your home. We may have to ask if anyone's sick inside the home if we have to go into that uh, residence. And that's for your safety and for our, our police officer safety as well so that we can don the appropriate PPE gear. Those resources are very limited, so we do appreciate your, your tolerance and, and also your honesty. Um, also, our, our department, when we respond to medical emergencies to assist uh, EMS and paramedics, we will be there for a safety and security measure. We'll stay in the car unless we're needed. Um, if no one shakes your hand, please don't take that personal. That's part of the recommended COVID-19 policies. Um, we keep that safe distance. If you need to come into our lobby, the lobby is open, but officers will talk to you through the intercom. And once again, that's to provide that extra safety uh, measure to not have contact unless necessary. We will be present. We be, will be visible in our patrol cars. You'll see us around the city. We are available to answer any calls uh, that need our services and continue to call and we will be there. So thank you very much. <clears throat> Our city is so blessed to have just great volunteers with our fire company and just the most professional police department around. We're just, we're lucky to have them. I'm proud of our chiefs and the work they're doing. Please understand this is a very fluid situation and things could change. And as they do, we'll come back and update you with those, uh, with that new information. But again, we wanted to bring this to you. Uh, if you have any questions, please call the police department or fire company. They'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much.